Welcome back to StarCraft TV and I am Scan. Today we are going to cast a fantastic game between Bisu vs Snow, Snow vs Bisu, and a spawning location in the top right corner, the white products. This is going to be Bisu. And the other side of the player spawning location in the bottom right corner kill Protoss this is snow and we are going to see a Protoss versus Protoss matchup on Polypoid and this is a 4 player map it looks like snow is going to make a pile on above the best thing either interesting and Bisu will be making the pile on mm, bottom of a uh, nexus and the Polypoint map has a lot of expansions there and a lot of expansions like uh, mineral expansions are very vulnerable can be easily taken down and let's see although the players is going to play standard gateway first although the players are going to go for gateway first and none of them are going for the scout yet looks like they want to go for the gas first Let's see. Snow is making the gas and Beast will be going 12 gas. Okay. None of them are still scouting. Okay, looks like there's gonna be the 13 scout by Bisu. 13 scout by Bisu and no scout for Snow. Snow will be making a zealot first and the pylon. Okay, so he won't be rushing to get the cybernetic score immediately. So it looks like this is going to be uh, two Zalot into Dragon opening most likely by Snow. Meanwhile, we will be seeing cybernetic score first for Bisu. And it's not making a Zalot yet. He made all the probes all the way up to 15. Maybe this is going to be the Zalot after this 15. Never mind, he's not going to make a Zalot. He's going to make extra probe. No Zealot whatsoever, immediately straight, straight for, for the Dragoon. Dragoon. We'll be, Snow Bisu will be seeing this uh, one Zealot standing. Uh, Bisu could not go up to the ramp. One Zealot standing on the ramp. And now Snow is sending his probe to 1 o'clock, but Bisu will be having one of the probes standing on the ramp and not letting Snow to scout his base. Oh no! Gonna micro well for Bisu, letting uh, Snow to get in. And now finally making us something. Oh, he's showing the Sura of Adun and also showing the Cybernetic score spinning. Showing Snow that hey, I'm upgrading my Dragoon range upgrade. But I still prefer. Oh, what is this? Okay, he canceled the Sura of Adun. He canceled his uh, plus air weapon upgrade just to fake him that he I am upgrading for. Uh, Dragon, Dragon range upgrade, but he's switching to super fast robotic facility. One gun into uh, one gun into robotic facility, and same for Snow. Snow has gotten the two Zella into a uh, Dragon next, and he's not also getting the Dragon range. Okay, now he is getting it. He went for the robotic facility first. Let's see whose robotic facility is faster. The Beast's robotic facility is much quicker than Snow's right now, but the range upgrade is about even. Yeah, it is about even, but. Snow has more army at the moment. They're having a 1v1 Dragon fight, but this is not a great advantage for Bisu. He has to pull back a little bit, but now the second Dragon has, arri uh, sec second Dragon has arrived and merged together, having a better positioning on the high ground. And now Snow is gonna get the Observatory most likely because he has seen the Suraba Dun going up. He does not know whether Bisu is still gonna go for Super Fast Dark Templar or not, but. He does not have any information. He's he's not a he's not a map hacker. So therefore, he will be going for observatory. Snow will be going for observatory, and same for Bisu. Bisu could not go up to Snow's ramp. He does not know any information. He also did not see the robotic facility as well. So he's also gonna go for the observatory. And making an observer. So both of the players will be doing the similar opening however the one differences we will be seeing is 
Bisu already has the second gateway, but Snow doesn't. Snow does not have the second gateway, so this is gonna be straightforward to one gateway, Dragon, Observer into a Nexus, and then probably getting the uh, robot robotic support bay now. He has uh, enough money. Robotic support bay now. And since now Snow is taking the expansion much quicker. Oh, okay. Bisu will be able to confirm that there's a Nexus now. Okay, so Bisu knows that uh, Snow has taken the expansion. Definitely knows that. Uh, that means he's is relying on only one gateway macro. Meanwhile, Bisu has two gateway macro with the Observer into a Shuttle Reaver. No expansion still for Bisu. Still adding more pylon in the main base. One of the Observer will get picked up, but most likely it will not. And at the same time, Snow is also moving out to this side. This is gonna be the Reaver by Snow. No shuttle for Snow since he has gone for the Nexus really quickly. He cannot afford making a shuttle. And now, as soon as the Reaver pops out, I believe Bisu will go for the expansion as soon as that uh, Reaver comes out. Bisu is currently now having this uh, a lot of army. With the one shuttle, one river inside, observer follow up into an expansion. Snow has been saturating his natural for a while. I've been mining for about like a minute or so. It looks like Snow is trying to have a good positioning, having a hold position dragoon. Spread it really well. And now Bisu is coming with a single river and nine dragoons with the one single dot and it looks like they are trying to- Oh! Whose observer died? Okay, that was a- uh, That was Snow's observer Got picked up By Beast's we're gonna- Beast was microing that river really well Abusing the terrain and doing the damage Right now Snow really cannot mine the natural Second river came out he has the better army Army uh, value but He cannot really jump it because there are too many dragoons in the front Pylon will go down as well, he will get supply block and immediately he knows that he's getting supply block, he will be getting double pylon in the main base. There's gonna be a little bit of a micro going on, one reaver, one shuttle, microing really well and snow has been snow has been losing a lot of mining time. At the same time now Bisu will be having this uh, natural expansion complete and we're gonna be saturating now with the third gateway is going up. There's an engage engagement going on. One of the one. Okay, there are three reavers. Two reavers were shotting those dragon super well. Picked up a lot of dragon. Wow. Even though Snow did not have a lot of dragon because he has been stuck at one uh, one gateway for a long time, but that two reaver scarab shots were so amazing. Literally melt Bisu's dragon. And looks like where did the oh shadows are standing over here? Okay, so it looks like Bisu wants to make some decision making. Okay, Bisu knows that uh, dragons are out of position because Snow wanted to snipe the one of the observer here, but now there's Shadow s s s uh, sneaking in two probes. Oh my God, how many was that? How many that was? I could not count, but probably a lot. Only only eight probes are mining at the mineral right at the moment. So that means Bisu probably picked up about at least more than 5 or so And now Bisu has the supply lead Supply count lead Having those uh, 8 dragons with the ones that are standing on the high ground But the snow has the observer seeing There are dragons are standing on the high ground So he is sending the dragons to the opposite side He went to the different path And with the observer he's co he will constantly confirming Where Bisu's army is and Bisu also has two reaver, two reaver at the natural. Adding, adding a couple more pylon. Also trying to have the uh, high ground advantage at this mineral expansion as well. Adding more pylons too. Pylon, adding pylons like this, they can be also used as a defensive building. So when when the when the opponent is attacking, 
they will be attacking the pylon first, not the army. And there's gonna be the river, two river micro by snow. You know, very good pressure. And taking, stealing the high ground where Bisu was having. One scarab, ooh. Only took up uh, 50 shield each. Now these uh, pylon will be got destroyed. And there's gonna be the engagement going on as soon as the observer falls down. It looks like, uh, okay, both of the players will be backing off. What an intense, intense action by both players. We are currently seeing Bisu has a lot of Dragoon. It looks like there's gonna be a little bit of engagement going on, but then I think Snow figured out he does not have enough arm, enough Dragoon, so he'll be backing up, trying to have a better positioning here. Yeah, right now Snow has a lot of additional reinforcement at the natural. Four Gateway River versus Four Gateway River as well here at the same time. Sira uh, of Adun is now going up. The Forge upgrade, uh, the Forge is about to be done. Looks like Bisu wants to prepare for the upgrade. Snow keeps pressuring Bisu really well right now. With the ten Dragoon, with the two River, one Shuttle, constantly moving that uh, two groups of army. And buying a lot of time, not letting Bisu to move forward. It looks like he's backing up a little. And Bisu is trying to do a little bit of a river micro, but Snow is pulling back. And at the same time, reinforcement with the two river inside of the shuttle. They're both of uh, both of the players are moving their army left and right. Looks like Sirab Adun and the Forge also is done for Snow. But Bisu's tech is slightly faster, plus one attack is much quicker. And now, uh, uh, Snow is also preparing, but no uh, Zealous Speed for Bisu. A lot of, okay, this is gonna be the 4 Reaver by Snow. 4 Reaver by Snow, a lot of Dragoon, about 2 groups of our army for each. Oh, it looks like Bisu has more Dragoon than uh, Snow right now. Snow has more probe count. More, more Dragoons are standing at the natural. One of the shuttle tried to do some of the harassment, however, there's one observer standing. One observer standing and having all those uh, vision. One cannon as well. Hmm. This is about like a two group, four group, th three group I should say. Yeah, three groups with two river inside. This is scary looking. And it looks like Snow will be pulling back because we Snow figured out that uh, Snow figured out that a beast is starting to move out. And now Snow does not want to lose. Uh, this uh, high high ground advantages, so he's gonna be having these unloaded four reavers and defending this high ground for now. Meanwhile, he's preparing for the zealot speed. A lot of zealots are uh, being produced. More more gateways are being added. How many gateways? Is this we are seeing three three. So that's gonna be the total seven gateway by snow. Uh, Bisu has 6 gateway right now, he's also adding another gateway. Both of the players are doing the, literally the same thing. No, Not much of a difference as we can see. Right now Bisu has the supply lead. But his worker count is a little bit low. That means uh, he has more army. That means Bisu has more army than Snow at the moment. There's one of the single dark player trying to move around. Looks like finding a good spot to deny, deny uh, Snow's expansion I believe. I guess he's preparing for Templar Archive with a couple of high side strips. I guess the side strip is not ready yet. Two river inside of the shuttle. And Snow has four river inside of the shuttles. Both of the first will be having about same same uh, army count. This is a very looking scary. It looks like Snow, okay, Snow will not commit. He will not commit to break here. But right now, we can, as we can see, Snow did not take his uh, mineral expansion yet. Bisu is now saturating his third base. That means the longer game it goes, it will be very good for Bisu. And it looks like there's gonna be the engagement. Bisu was not pay paying attention. Their army, Bisu's armies are right now uh, clumped up. Oh my god, one of the shuttle, two reavers got picked up inside of, inside of the shuttle and that was totally wasted for Snow. Oh, uh, looks like 
this is a better fight for Bisu because Bisu, have, Bisu even though Bisu did not pay attention to Snow's army, but he had the high ground advantages, and one of the two reavers got uh, got killed instantly by the shuttle snipe, and it looks like this is gonna be the victory for Bisu. And it looks like okay, the army count is about to even, but. Right now, Bisu is at uh, 3 base mining. Snow is also trying to prepare for the 3 base mining as well. Both of the supply count is about even. Oh my god, one of the reavers still... It is still harassing Snow's uh, natural. Only two probes are mining at the natural. That's, that is not looking great. And it looks like one of the Dark Templars also buying some time. Killing one of the cannons. Both of the players will have this uh, plus one attack weapon. There's gonna be the engagement going on, but looks like Bisu has more army. These two reavers are scary. They do splash damage into the zealots. Zealots are getting picked up instantly. Some of the archons are doing some of the backup as well, taking all those dragon shield, uh, dragon damage, and taking off the shield for free. And that's gonna be the GG for Snow. What a great play for both players. And I think one of the mistakes that Snow did was he had four reavers with the two shuttles. He was migrating that two reavers, but uh, he he loaded that two reavers into the shuttle and Bisu sniped that shuttle on time. And I think that could I think that was the one of the mistakes that uh, Snow lost this battle at this uh, terrain where Bisu was having on a high ground. And Snow is having on a low ground, and if you're at the low ground versus high ground, high ground, you do miss a lot of uh, damages. And it, I heard it's like a one over two fifty five, two fifty five uh, chance of miss missing. Where's, no, it's not one one over two fifty five. But whatever, whatever, uh, whatever the chance of missing all those shots to the high ground. But yeah, that could. I think that's the main reason why Snow lost this game. We're losing two reavers for free and fighting against the high ground army and like that. Even though Bisu was not paying attention and all of his dragoons were clumped up. But unfortunately for Snow that uh, he lost out of two reavers and had to lose this battle. That's GG. Thank you for watching and if you guys enjoy watching these great games on Starcast TV. Please hit the like and subscribe button. We will bring more awesome games in the future.